Hello, we are here today with my March TBR. And basically the theme for this month is books my friends have read. <laughs> Um, the first two that I'm going to talk about are not books my friends have read, but they're the only two on here that are different. And that's just because I need to read them before I have to take them back to the library. And that's volumes one and two of Lock and Key by Joe Hill and Gabrielle Rodriguez. Yep. These are about some kind of haunted house with magical keys or something. Anyway, there's a Netflix show and I wanted to read the graphic novels before I watch the show because that's what I like to do when something is based on a book. Most of the time I like to read the book first because that's how it was intended to experience first. Like I want to experience it the way the author had intended before I watch the adaptation and then I like to see the differences between them. I mean, I'm sure that's the same for most people, but yeah. Lock and Key is what I'm going to start the month off with before I take them back to the library. So anyway, so now let's get into the books that I'm going to be reading that are all the books my friends read. So the first one here is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiyami, which I'm reading because my friend Amber read this. She read it just before Christmas time and kept raving about it to me. She really wanted me to read it so we could talk about it. So I got it and I haven't read it yet. So I figured I should read it. And to be honest, I have no idea what it's about. I just know that it's fantasy. It's something about magic disappearing and fighting against, you know, the upper up people, the upper up people. That's a thing. The next book here is Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, which I'm reading because my friend Laura is currently reading this. Uh, she read the first book, Shadow and Bone, last year and convinced me to read it. Uh, she convinced me to read it mostly because she liked it a lot better than Six of Crows and that made me super interested. I did not like it better than Six of Crows. I feel like there's like a divide between people who like Shadow and Bone better and Six of Crows better. But I did really, really enjoy Shadow and Bone. I read it in 24 hours. It was a lot of fun. And I've had the second one for a while, haven't gotten around to reading it. And since Laura is currently reading it and she's almost done, I figured I should read it. And then we can talk about it. It's talking about books with people is fun. Uh, the next one here is The Stranger by Harlan Coben, which I actually have not read a Harlan Coben book in probably over 10 years, which is funny because I keep buying Harlan Coben books. They come out and I buy them or I see them at used bookstores and I buy them <laughs> and I just haven't read them for, I just, I don't know. I don't know. But when The Stranger was coming out on Netflix, I thought it was a good reason for me to get back into Harlan Coben and to read it because I thought I had it, but turns out I didn't. The book that I thought was The Stranger was this one, Fool Me Once which I still also haven't read, obviously. Um, but I was telling my manager about it at work and she said that she had it and that she would bring it in for me. And I mean, I guess technically she's not my friend because she's my manager, but she has read it and now I'm going to read it and then I'll probably watch the show soon after. The next one I have here is a difficult one for me because it's ever since it's come out, it's been difficult for me to accept, but I'm going to read it. I'm going to do it finally. <laughs> and that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Um, my friend Cody had mentioned that he feels like he's the only person who liked The Cursed Child because he really likes time travel. And I was like, I haven't read The Cursed Child yet. I have it. And I've been too afraid to read it. So I figured I'm reading a bunch of other books my friends have read. I might as well continue with the theme and give this a go. So we're going to do it. And the last book I don't actually have because, well, I used to have the hardcover and I got rid of it. And now I am going to try it again, but in audiobook format, because my friend Cody said that he thinks that I would probably like it better in audiobook format because he really liked the audiobook and that's Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. So I said, okay, I will give it a shot. There's no harm in it. I have it on hold from my library through the Libby app and it says it will be available within the next two weeks. So it will still be March when that happens. And I'm going to listen to, or at least attempt to listen to Ready Player One. And those are the books that I'm going to read in March. So hopefully I'll be back here in April telling you all about all of them because hopefully I'll read them all. And I guess that's all for now. Have a great day. Bye.